Jim Pagiamsis, and I actually am a local expert speaker for Constant Contact and a solution provider. Great story to share with you, a little quick, uh, is I became a client of Constant Contact in November last year. And in less than 90 days, I became a solution provider. All because this happened is because I had the intention to do something, but I had no idea what was going to happen in the end. And this is because of the ability where I became a speaker. And that ability allowed me to join the joint venture with, with Constant Contact. And now um, I'm excited about the opportunity. And this is uh, one of the presentations that I do. And I'm going to go through it fairly quickly. It is a little long, but I want to cut down to the chase of why switching is important and how to make it work for you. It doesn't matter if you're an individual business or if you're a small business and, and for nonprofits as well. Oh. Oh. So the agenda we're going to be talking about is what is social media, why are marketing using social media, doing it well, some best practices of social media for small businesses. Connections, Engaging content and connections. Managing activity time and the next steps. And definitely have a good kind of connections. Uh, you see it's twice there and with good reason. So we'll begin. So social media, what is it and why do we do it? Now my question to is to the room is why do we do social media? Can I why why do we participate in social media? I have some here. Customers clients, but why why do we do social media? But why do you specifically for what you, you do it for? I yeah. think connections for networking. Okay. Everybody else. Okay. Anyone else? Why do you? Why do you? The cheaper form of lead generation. Okay. Anyone else? I just connect with people. Yeah, connect people. Great. It's on there. Perfect. See, this is the point. We do it all for different reasons, and that's exactly what it's meant to do. But you do it for specific reasons because you want. That's what you use it for. Okay. So there's a lot of reasons up here. You got. Volunteers, donors, brand awareness, sales, and how to Mutuals have changed the shape of small business and marketing. Now, if you look at some of the statistics here, it's absolutely very, very interesting. You look at Facebook there, 51%. And you look at LinkedIn, 27, 26. There's some others, but those are the ones that I highlighted and blogs. I'm not talking about how this blog is being popular. These numbers have probably increased over the last six months. And if you've already noticed, ladies and gentlemen, at, at the end of the presentation, I can send you a copy of all this presentation for you. Okay? I just need to get, I've got some of your business cards, I can get the rest, I'll send it all, all to you at the end. Okay? So you can have this uh, for yourself. Types of people. Now, this is, this is interesting. You got paid customers, you got really fans, customers, prospects, and suspects. And many of us have, have witnessed all three of these in our, in our journey. Mm -hmm. And what I can realize is this. Yes, we have Gradient fans that I have. Uh, I think Gradient fans are great. Um, uh, we have you know, Deanne here and Patrick, who I, I consider my Gradient fans. And uh, they come out and support me, and I come out and support them. So we're Gradient fans. But do you have customers who are going to come out interested in your product and services? And I'll share a quick story. I was at an event last week. When Patrick and, and Deanna was there, I walked into the event and Patrick said to me, I have a referral for you. I was like, really? As soon as I walked into the event. All because Patrick is a really good fan. He's a, he's, a, he's a great customer of mine and he's participating in, in assisting me in my business. That's what a reading fan is all about. But you also have people who are maybe interested in your business that may become customers down the road. Okay? Now, this may be, you understand this because you're getting businesses you're in. But it's a, it's a progress. Any of you who are disinterested, that's okay. Life goes on. Okay? Social media marketing is one of these. You're building your social network. Fans, some people said connections. Uh, you're sharing relevant content and allowing people to engage with you to drive more business or to, to create interest in what you do. For example, myself, interest in the, the book that I'm writing. And here's some of the most popular ones out there. Now, you're not alone. Here's some of the reasons uh, that you may hear about. Uh, social media marketing looks interesting, but I'll never have 500, you know, millions of customers, I'll 5,000. Uh, <coughs> I've heard that one a lot. Uh, paying attention to what is being said in social media, it sounds useful, but I've never had dedicated staff to doing it right. 
So there's different concerns, and we're going to address some of those in this in this shortened presentation. So what is this powerful? Uh, you can be successful. You can you can successfully market your small business or social because you have loyal and happy customers, an excellent customer experience, interesting and important things to say. For my example, is I go out networking and meet interesting people. So my Facebook page on a weekly basis, I always write. I had a great meeting with an activist in Dhaka today to talk about business and success. So last night I posted, I'm actually coming with Patrick to the speed networking event, and uh, after that I'm going to go visit a friend of mine. Okay? Tell me what I do in my journey. So doing it well, best practices, connections, engaging content. We will do this very quickly. Leverage your excellent customer service for social media content, uh, success. You got engagement, creating, creating interest. Encouraging repeat business, encouraging referrals, getting online endorsements. This is powerful. If someone likes what you do, get them to write an endorsement. I have a lot of endorsements written on my LinkedIn, all because I'm asking for it. What about marketing? It's a very powerful tool. If you make an impression people here today, that's a start to getting yourself moving towards that. What business you're involved in, you worry about the games. Here's a great example of a type of business called Pickle. Well, they advertise everything Twitter, YouTube. <laughs> Cost product, Facebook, I mean they have it on their page, but it was very well done. Okay? You don't have to do this, and this is a broad example of how businesses are approaching social media. This is a great story, Dingo. Uh, they wanted to create 6,329 6, likes and 14,100 subscribers. They only started it, um, uh, they did it in three days, all because of, the, of a Facebook engagement process they started. And did it all in three days. So the power of that, and I guess people love their love their pets. So big example here, a museum. Uh, they had a very uh, one, once a month they had an engagement process with their clients. And they got connected with constant contact, and they realized they had so much to share about the type of um, uh, type of museum they had, what they were showing. It changed every month. So they did it on a, on a monthly basis and they create some positive customer engagement and they, they, they write about it in their tweets there. Connections. How many of you are on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I don't know, Facebook and LinkedIn? Okay. Now this content sharing. How many people have a Word, WordPress and YouTube website? A few of you. Okay. Then there's other sites like Yelp, TripAdvisor. So if you're going to go on a trip, you can go to TripAdvisor and find out more information about where you're going. Uh, I'm going to go Foursquare. I'm going to Foursquare. Am I Foursquare? It's a, it's a place where you can tell where you exit. Hey, I'm going to Foursquare say I'm here at um, uh, the Talbu Community Center and present. Keep moving forward. Some examples of type businesses using each social media here. Uh, the Swinery uses um, social media on the bottom right. Kickstart your growth using an email list. You want people to engage in your email list and join your email list. Have a call to action. So they do it through their Facebook and LinkedIn, and you can create a link on, on crossing contact to do that. Again, another example, would be professional, uh, making everything uniform from your my business card to my website, my constant contact are all are all the same. So more of examples of businesses creating a uh, way like this is a great example here where the lady had her fake her YouTube. Her Twitter account, her Facebook, all very uniform. So everywhere you went, you saw the same picture, you saw the same information. Okay? So all authenticity all the way across. Engaging content. This is important here. You can have different types of things. You can have newsletters, you can have surveys, you can blog, post your blog on, on your email marketing campaign. You can promote your product and services like Blue Villa, because she can do an email marketing campaign on her service she wanted. You can post videos, photos, and podcasts. So a lot of flexibility, and that's where I come in, and I can show you how you can, how you can get that done. Content is king. It's important what you're writing about. Many of you experts in this particular topic. You have a coach there who's interested in a life coach in many other areas. Again, it's having that authenticity all across the table. Here, content reuse, focus uh, uh, HR, put stuff on their Facebook, but also appear on, on their Twitter account. Some more examples of other businesses paying authenticity along along their their brand. This is a great example of what it looks what what content means on, on your Facebook page. They have constant contact. They have information about their business, who their followers are, and how many likes and description of their businesses. Again, authenticity. Some more examples. 
uh, of businesses and what they do here. They're focusing on their friends here in this business. Here, they're saying that they're actually making jokes. You know where your food is at 2 o'clock in the morning. So they take a picture, they made it into an event. Here's a picture of, of a great half a slice of a watermelon. Now, I'm not a teasing, but they put it on their Facebook page and they do a lot of people liking that and, and admiring that. Look about Twitter. It's an exploding business with, faith, with Facebook. And again, it's how you use it. Here's the Twitter account. They get their tweets, they got a little bit about the, how many friends they have. How many followers? Again, it's a concept and how you how you put it together. LinkedIn, not just into how many people on LinkedIn in here? A few people? Excellent. Again, how the 80% of businesses are on LinkedIn, a lot of nonprofits are on there. It's how you set everything up. And then I can speak to you about another time how you do your LinkedIn. But again, it's all very authentic. Same thing, how you set up your profile, certain areas. And again, you can see this on the email I'll send you with the presentation. Building network, it's important. Uh, how are you using it? Facebook, LinkedIn, all these social media sites. How are you going to build your network? You're going to build it face to face, yes, but you're going to want to connect online. And again, that's how, how you can do it. Uh, examples of, of some businesses here. Conversations. Everyone's an expert at something. I'm an expert at networking, and you saw Patrick's example on how he made networking work for him. Many businesses are doing the same thing. How to communicate with everybody. It's not about you, it's about who, what you know and how you engage. That's what I appreciate what Matt was saying earlier, but his example. It's a very, very strong point. Again, at the bottom it says inspire trust by filtering the noise. There is a lot of noise out there, I agree. But again, being an expert and being able to convey your expertise in a succinct manner is what's important. Deal with the positive. Uh, here, here's all comments. Especially, I see this a lot on Facebook. People making comments about certain things. I was posting pictures for the past few days about funny, funny cupcakes. I don't know if you saw the, the cupcakes there. Feel like this one. I'm going to eat those. But again, that creates interaction. That creates communication in your uh, online, and that's fantastic. Again, engage yourself with you and what you're saying, what you're writing. So what you're putting on Twitter and Facebook, you're creating engagement. Doesn't matter how big or small your network is. Some more explanations about online conversations that companies are using. Now, student media, don't. Don't pitch everybody. Right. Don't want to self-promote. Don't have a sense that you, uh, reviews are, that, you, that you can't back up. Those are the areas that you don't know about. Like Patrick spoke about sports <laughs> in this conversation. He didn't know anything about sports. He got away with it because people didn't even care about that. It was you know, time passing the time. But again, it's what you know. Very, very important. Turn it into positive. There's an organization where they've had a bad experience, and because the business was paying attention to the Twitter account, they approached the customer. So probably something that Twitter has been, been known for. The little bit matching your time. Uh, the CEO of, of Constant says, send, spend 50 minutes a day, three times per week. Now, I kind of disagree with that a little bit. I think if you really want to spend time with it, you may want to be at least five to six times a week for half an hour a day. Okay? That's my suggestion. But Again, it doesn't have the suggestion in my respect yours. So when you smarter, your brand, your competitors, your categories, what you do. Um, who you use, there's Google Alerts and other areas where you can manage your social media contacts. And this is important, where you can use Hootsuite and you can publish across all your networks. You need to choose which network that is and when you do it. And Nutshell Mail is available through Contact Contact, a free service. And if you have any questions around that, Ask, ask, uh, talk about that. There's also tweet deck. Quickly about, about interaction. Is this is what you would do? You, you first you get through nutshell mail as to what uh, what um, this is exactly nutshell as how many connections, how many likes you get for your Facebook and Twitter. So you can gauge if people are interested in what you're doing and what changes you need to be made. It's a powerful, free uh, software program. Measure your success. Is what's it about you? Are you seen as an expert? How will you engage with your existing customers? What are they saying about you? Are you reaching out to new customers? How are you doing that? Are you reaching to the specific market you want to reach to on your mark uh, online? Are you reaching those real estate agents? Are you reaching those joint venture partners that you want to work with? Are you having connections with them? That's where we're talking about Jennifer Beale, some of the big connectors here in Toronto. I get some examples of both B2B and B2C, uh, and those obviously those percentages have, have increased. But again, so Constant Contact does a lot of work in getting the right statistics for you to show you what is happening out there. I give an example of, of how businesses are, are putting at the top of their campaigns, do you like this? Would you like to tweet this? Share it with the rest of your network. 
Isn't that a funny story I'm leaving with? A gentleman bought a business from his sister, and he wanted to build the business quick, but he couldn't figure out what to do. So what he did is that he used social media. So what he did is this. He created a password. So if you came to the store and you said, uh, uh, if you used uh, the word pinky, for example, that meant you, uh, you, you, you paid attention to that tweet, that uh, tweet that he made, and you get a 10% discount for the emails. He did it on Facebook, so they kept track. The little chart, when you walk in, they would have the passwords and the times. So all those would have to do is just check mark. His business exploded. All because of using social media right. And now they see the picture of him doing his business on the phone. So it's a powerful, small example, but it, it does work. Just I'll leave you with my personal story. Is I share with people where, where I'm going, what I'm doing. And uh, Dr. Patrick and many others come and follow me. I really appreciate it. And it shows that the value that I have means something to them and they're willing to, to spend the time with me. So I can thank you for one. And the next step uh, that I have is you can take advantage of 60 days for free using constant contact. And, uh, and that's what I started off with, and I took it to the next step. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. I can get you started on that. I know Deanne and Patrick have been trying to assist them and they've been enjoying this so far. So I uh, thank you again. My name is Jim Pike, the Amnesis, and I appreciate you listening to me and the rest of the speakers this morning. Thank you.